Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss the Cisco CLI help features because in Cisco Packet Tracer we have uh, different devices like routers, switches. Uh, so, and if you want to use them in our network, then we need to give commands to those uh, devices. And this is really challenging to memorize all the commands available in those routers and switches. So Cisco provides us a help feature, so, and we are going to explore that feature in today's video. So what we do, we just take a router and place in the workspace, click, click on command line interface. Now it will take some time for the router to start. We need to wait for a while. So it's, it's loading the operating system and uh, we will have a first initial dialog which is says that would you like to enter the initial configuration dialog so we are not giving any initial configuration to the router we say no and enter and press enter again and now we are in the user mode so we have seen that now we are in the user mode because this from symbol shows that uh, is, the, is the indication that now we are in the user mode. And if you remember from our previous video, user mode is a mode where only non-disruptive commands are, uh, can be used. And those commands are only for troubleshooting and monitoring the operation of the, of the router or switch. So now if we want to see that what kind of commands are available in this user mode, we will just type a question mark and this question mark will actually uh, this question mark will actually uh, provide help for all commands which are available in this mode right so as soon as you type the question mark you will see a uh, next window in that window we will have commands and the purpose of those commands for example if we see this enable so when we type enable in the user mode this will actually turn on the privilege command it means this will shift us from this user mode to the privilege mode. In the same way, so this is the purpose. And this, in the same way, if we, if we look at the second command that is ping, very popular command to check the connectivity between the nodes. And the purpose of this command is to send echo messages. Likewise, we have SSH, secure shell, so if you use so the purpose of this command, so the command is SSH, and the purpose of this command is that it opens a secure shell client connection. So by by using the question mark, we will see the detailed information about the commands and their purpose. So you can see as soon as you type question mark, you you will have this all the window let's maximize it so you can see after the question mark you have all the commands and their purpose or the description of the command the same way for example in this mode for example if, let's say in this mode sorry in this mode there's a command that is enable which we have been using so for example we don't remember that enable command then what we can do Maybe we use, maybe we just remember few letters of enable command, maybe EN. So let's say EN and then use question mark. So this trick will display all the commands which start with EN. For example, if I just write E and then question mark, so there are two commands in this user mode and those commands are enable and exit. So the IOS has presented us with the enable and exit command, which actually starts with E. In the same way, if we use enable and go to the privilege mode, and if you are interested to see that what kind of commands are available in this privilege mode, we will again use this question mark. And the question mark you can see, if I'm going to maximize it, you can see that the question mark we have been provided with a new window and that window has the commands and their descriptions. So now by 
pressing enter again and again so you you can see all the commands available in this privilege mode one by one and if you want to go to the end just press tab you'll be at the end so now we saw that the same question mark can be used in the privilege mode to see all the commands available in the privilege mode now for example if we want to go in country in, in global configuration mode by using configure terminal so the, we are in the global configuration mode now in this mode as well if you want to see what kind of commands are available we can again use the question mark and the, all that all of the commands which are available in this uh, in this global configuration mode that those commands will be displayed and press tab to go to the end so in the same way we have some sub interfaces command as well for example if you want to go to some ethernet port and we want to uh, configure some IP address like that then we will have different set of commands available in those sub interfaces as well and again the same trick will work if you want to see uh, the all the, the complete list of the commands then you just type question mark and you'll be displayed all the commands there and if if you remember some letters of that command just you can type the letters and uh, that command and that will show you for example here again for example e and question mark so all the commands starting with e will be displayed for you and uh, so in the same way if for example if you don't remember few 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 letters for example if you want to write enable here let's say if you want to exit from here first exit we are in this privilege mode and then again exit so we press enter we are in the user mode and now for example from in from this user mode we want to shift to the um, privilege mode then we need to type enable and to type enable just you e and e p l e you can write complete enable or just write e and and just press tap so by pressing tap the rest of the letters will be filled by the ios itself you don't need to type them and in this way you can actually write uh, a few letters of a command and the rest of the letters of the command will be filled in by the ios itself so this these were some just the basic just i wanted to discuss about this basic health features available in the ios so for very very beginners this may be useful was just starting so this is really a great feature provided by ios and this will be very much helpful when we don't remember actually we cannot remember all of the commands so this is really helpful and i hope for some of you this 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 video may be helpful thank you